Am I a star seed? That's the question I get quite often. The way I'll explain this is that we're not from anywhere except source, which is the, we could say, one consciousness that encompasses all consciousness. People think they're from certain planets, star systems, galaxies. And what I'm trying to do here is make people think outside the box. And to do that, we have to get out of linear thinking and look at all possibility, 360 degree unbounded awareness. I always say this to get to the deeper concepts of things through analogies. The only time that I find that people haven't incarnated on other planets, star systems and what have you, is when they've come directly from source. But ultimately, we are all from source. People will resonate with certain star systems because they've been there. They may even have another aspect that coexists there. They may have done many walks in a particular star system or star systems, which is really the case, many walks in many places. And so there'll be times, especially with people waking up, that they'll have recall or interactions with certain beings from certain places. And then other beings will start to come through. But what I say, the number one thing, is to look at the fruit of the information in those cases. Is the information about helping you become a better person, be of service, sometimes showing you things that you need to work on? Or is it ego-driven, the opposite? Though, of course, uh, in that case, it would be negative entities that could be coming through trying to mislead some people. And then, of course, we have the trickster energies in the middle that the way I describe it is if you react positively, you'll get a positive experience. If you react negatively, you'll get a negative experience. But the experience will have no fruit to it. There'll be no sort of substance that's beneficial. And really, when going into a multidimensional mind state and reawakening, you're learning more about who you are, which leads to the connection to source that we all have. And so what I'm saying is don't put yourself in a box, especially for the people that are waking up in terms of I'm from here, I'm from there, that's identification. Um, if you want to identify with anything, identify with source. Because from that place, much will come into fruition about who you are and what you truly are as we lose ourselves to refine ourselves and we could say we've got extra missions and mandates and things that we we choose to decide and it's not about I've got a contract for this or I've got a contract for that though in cases yes we do have those things but it doesn't mean that we can't alter or change our circumstances what we feel in the heart we want to experience or endure so I guess what I'm saying here is that You've done many walks in many places. It's not just life from life to life to life because it's actually all happening at the same time. And that's where getting out of the box thinking, one can start to perceive how this is working from the, the soul going fractal and getting out of what we call space, time and operating from the field, God, source, creator. So I hope this is um, maybe just brought some food for thought, that's all I'm trying to do with these videos is bring some food for thought and to know that you are a cell of God and that everything is right here. Everything else doesn't matter. Though researching, watching videos, doing the inner practices and things like that, great, great. It all helps and assists with that as we, we could say reprogram ourselves. So I'll leave it there and uh, blessings and look after yourself powerful beings.